Once the program is launched, the PASW Statistics 17 dialog box appears. Click the Cancel button to create a new data file. We will now go through the interface so you can get a better grasp on how to navigate through your files. Like all programs, the top bar composes the title bar, which will show us the program we're running, the file we are working with, as well as towards the right, we have buttons to minimize, maximize restore, and close our program window. Directly below the title bar, we have the menu bar. The menu bar arranges the functions of the program into groups of common features with an inner working of submenus and options to analyze our data. Below the menu bar is the toolbar. The toolbar is an array of commonly used features derived from the menu bar which were extracted and conveniently placed in clear view for easy access and usage. You may notice our interface looks similar to Excel, but the difference lies in their functionality. In Excel, running vertically are the columns and running horizontally are the rows. In PASW, running vertically are the variables and running horizontally are the cases. The variables are survey items or questions you have collected, whereas the cases are each of the participants in the study you have conducted. Data view is where you input your raw data, which you have collected from your surveys, your questionnaires, your observations, and other forms of data collection. If you redirect your focus towards the bottom of the window, you will see two tabs. The data view tab on the left is where we are currently located. Now, let's click on the variable view tab on the right. Although the two views look the same, the variable view is where variables are defined. And we do this by assigning variable names and choosing the corresponding attributes. Looking at the attributes, the first one we will define is the variable name. This will assign a meaningful name to represent that question across your analysis. The variable type will determine how the cases are entered. For example, let's say your examinee was asked what their GPA is or their age. We would choose a numerical value to input. If they were asked what their name was or perhaps what their favorite animal is, the string type would be selected. A third attribute is our variable labels. This allows you to describe that variable name and what it stands for in order to avoid misinterpretation when sharing results. 